Another Cirrus SR22 crashed the other day in the United States, in North Carolina. Uh, three people on board, including the musician Brett James. They all three died. Now, what happened with this accident? I'm going to be talking about that. I'm going to be talking about how uh, there's a deficiency in, tra in pilot training and how this is leading into more accidents, even in, in the private jet world. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna sort of tell you this story and, and show you, you know, what's really happening. So let's go straight in now to what happened in this particular accident. Now the pilot had come in. The weather was good, by the way, so it was nice visibility, hardly any wind. He came in for some reason. He decided to go go around on the on the first approach. Now that may have just been for practice purposes. We don't know. Uh, he came in a second time. He did another go around, and during the second go around. The aircraft got really slow. It slowed to 72 knots as he made the turn and the airplane stalled and crashed and killed everybody on board. It was too slow for the aircraft to deploy the parachute. Um, and this is one of the criticisms of the Cirrus aircraft. And initially, when the Cirrus first came out, they had quite a few crashes. So Cirrus looked at what was happening and they came up with a really good training system. And now the Cirrus is a safer aircraft the most single engine aircraft. But the problem is pilots learn to fly in the Cirrus and because it has a parachute, it gives them a false sense of security and they're putting themselves into dangerous situations. Now, when I tell people, you know, if you're gonna to learn to fly and you're gonna buy your own aircraft and fly your own aircraft, you have to, you know, if you're gonna fly anyway, you've got to make sure certain things are covered. Now, when I did my training, uh, I started training for my private pilot's license, I was afraid of getting into a spin and not knowing how to get out of a spin. So I wasn't going solo. Um, so I, I was learning to fly in the US and in the US, they make you bank the aircraft 30 degrees and then pull um, to do your stalls. Well, in Europe, you just do straight up in that. So there's no risk of one wing stalling before the other. But in a turn, usually one wing will stall before the other. And so you have to learn to control it. So you don't go into a spin. So I was talking to another student and he said to me, well, you need to do some spin training because I had the same problem. And you'll find that once you, you've you gone into a spin and you know how to get out of a spin, you'll be fine. So I went to speak to my instructor and he said, okay, we'll do a lesson on spinning today. So explain to me on the on the blackboard what, what were we going to be doing and how you get into a spin and why and how you get out of it. And off we went and we got into three or four spins and got out. It was dead easy. Um, I knew how to do it and I did a few on my own. And the next day I went solo. And then it dawned on me and I thought, well, this should be mandatory in private pilot training. The problem today is people don't do that and they go through all their training and then they become an Airbus A380 captain and they've never flown upside down. And so it's really, really important, even though aircraft are probably a little bit easier to fly today than they were back in the day when I learned to fly. You've got all these avionics to help. Um, with with situation awareness and that but still the accidents are happening and in particular if you are an entrepreneur and a business guy and you want to you know you've always fancied flying and having your own aircraft or flying your own jet great but you know there are certain steps that need to be uh, you, that you need to make uh, in order to be safe uh, the problem today is people are going from a Cirrus to a PC12 uh, or a Cirrus to a Honda jet and, and then we see lots of these Honda jets going off the end of the runway. And then people started to say, oh, well, the Honda jets are dangerous airplane. Look, 25 runway excursions. Uh, when in reality, when you go and look at these accidents and incidents that have happened, you see that the problem is the pilot training. That is the real problem. The system is allowing people to get all these qualifications. Um, and there are gaps which really need to be covered and you need to be a responsible person. And, and I know, you know, you're probably maybe new to aviation. You don't know. And a lot of these guys, you know, they get into flying their own airplane. They don't know about upset recovery training. They don't know that, you know, they could get into a certain situation and crash. Uh, they don't know about certain types of icing, um, you know, because they haven't got time. They're busy people. So, you know, if you are looking to buy an aircraft, that's a great thing. But as I always say, the pilot is more important than the plane. So if you do intend to buy an airplane and fly it yourself, maybe you're learning to fly now and you say, OK, I'm going to buy myself a TBM 940 or a PC-12 or I'm going to buy myself a, a Phenom 100. That's all great. Let's have a conversation. Reach out to me um, and I'll make sure that, you know, you you get the right training um, and the right knowledge and you maintain that proficiency. It's really, really important. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Budget TV. So that's um, kind of my take on this one. There is a, a, a pilot problem. Um, I talk about it here in the quantum economy. If you haven't got a copy, you can 
grab a copy of the quantum economy but you know as i say it's a mindset issue which is why i wrote this book about mindset be aware but don't care you can click on the link below to get both books and have a look at the other videos we have here on bizjet tv almost 1200 videos about private aviation uh, but above all if you're looking to buy your own aircraft and fly it yourself reach out to me ping me an email let's get on a call and let's see what we can do to help you to get your own airplane and be safe and that's all for police apology here on bizjet tv and i'll see you on the next one